Yo, 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 welcome to the channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your editing with Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Travis and I love to film unboxing videos of cool new gear that I get for filmmaking. I also like to film videos of DIY projects that I do around the house, including assembling IKEA furniture. When I'm editing with Adobe Premiere Elements and I learn something cool, I'm definitely gonna film a tutorial video like this one and share it on the channel. And if I ever go someplace cool, I'm definitely gonna vlog about that too. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. So let's get into today's video and I'm going to show you my favorite trick on how I save time in my editing using Adobe Premiere Elements. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your computer and open up Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. So we're going to start by opening up a previously saved project that we have here. If you need to start a new project, then absolutely do so. Click on the video editor to get one going. Once you have your video editor open, you want to start by adding some media. So we have some media here in our project assets panel. So we're going to drag that down to our timeline. It happens to be upside down, so we're going to quickly rotate that around. There we go. So we've got it facing the right way now. So now that we have the video on the timeline, I want to show you a quick way to speed up your editing process. So if you've seen the previous video before on how to add widescreen black bars, I'm going to show you today how to save the presets so that you don't have to continually adjust it every time you add them. So here we go. The first thing you want to do is head over to your effects panel and you want to type in crop because that is what we're going to use today. Okay, so here we have our crop effect. We're going to drag that down onto our clip. I'll just get this out of the way so we can see what's happening. So you can see here, every time you put crop in, there's always one on the right, which we don't need. And we want a little bit more crop, so we're going to change the top to 14. We're going to change the bottom to 14. And there you have it. We've got the perfect crop. So if you want to use this for multiple clips in your timeline, you can actually save it. And the way you do this is right click on the crop title, click on save preset, and now you can change the name. We're gonna add this as widescreen, and then click okay. So now we actually have a effect labeled widescreen. So in order to see this, you wanna click on your effects, and you want to search for widescreen. So there you can see we have our widescreen effect. You can just drag that down onto your timeline and it's actually carried the values you had set before. So very simple, easy to use. You can do this with other effects as well. So we can see advanced adjustments here. So if you wanted to adjust your lighting effects, you can throw this down here onto your timeline and you can do all of your adjustments to your lighting effects which these look horrible, but you can see all of the adjustments that you may or may not have made. You can then right click and click save preset. So anything that you, I'm just gonna delete that because it looks horrible, but anything that you find in the effects panel, all of these adjustments can be saved. So the nice part about that is if you go to my presets, here you will see all of your presets have been saved. So once you've tweaked all of the settings in a preset and you've got it exactly the way you want it, make sure you click on save and then you'll have it in the future without having to make those adjustments again, saving you a ton of time in your editing process. So now that you know how to save your presets in Adobe Premiere Elements, you could start saving time on all of your edits. If you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.